Hello Legacy fans, I am Legacy Man, and today we are going to be showcasing one of my favorite Legacy perks, and that is the Impact and Knockback Magnitude perk. Now, with that said, there is a lot of confusion within the communities when looking at some of the current schematics in the game that the perk recombobulator actually recognizes. But before we get into today's video, I wanted to quickly thank everyone who came out this last Sunday for our 200 subscriber live stream giveaway event where I gave away over 300 legacy weapons. Now, the next giveaway is going to be a little different. You're going to have to watch this video very closely to figure out when and how you can get into the next live stream giveaway. And now, let's talk about some schematics. This is a modern schematic. It's a Vendor Tech Jolter, and you can see here that it has the impact and knockback magnitude. And what I want to show you is when I go to upgrade these perks, I can take all of these perks, just like anything else, and upgrade them. However, the impact and knockback magnitude perk cannot be upgraded. If all of these are legendary, or regardless of whatever level these are, if you see this plus 25% impact, it is not a legacy weapon. It's not true. That's impossible. So don't be fooled when someone is trying to tell you that a modern schematic that has impact and knockback magnitude is legacy. The dead giveaway, aside from the fact that you can see on this vendor tech, which has intrinsic energy, that there is a tier next to that element. That's giveaway number one. But in terms of this perk, if this is a legacy, plus 25% impact and 400 knockback magnitude is always going to be green. It's always going to be a tier 2 perk. When it's put into the recombobulator, or now that some of these event weapons like Vendor Tech are in our normal loot pool as expansion schematics, it's going to automatically be assigned as gray. So whenever you see this perk as gray, you know that that is not a legacy schematic. Remember, it's better to tell the truth. And that's no lie. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. So I want to quickly show you what would happen if you were to take a regular loot pool weapon, such as this Thunderbolt, with the impact and knockback magnitude perk and stick it into the perk recombobulator. So if I go to upgrade modify perks, you can see here the recombobulator wants to take that impact and knockback, and it wants to convert it into a snare. Now this is going to be random. It could do affliction, it could do headshots, but uh, in this situation here, it wants to, to convert that into a snare and give me a free slot for my element. And then since the passive perk, the damage to afflicted targets was in this slot, it's going to slide that down, obviously because passive perks are the fifth perk now. Uh, once recombobulated, and, and that's how I get that uh, second free slot. So, no longer can you have impact and knockback magnitude on any regular loot pool weapons, uh, with the exception of some event weapons, such as some of the vendor techs and some of the vacuum tube weapons that you see this impact and knockback magnitude perk. So this is a super badass example of a regular loot pool melee weapon where I roll the impact and knockback magnitude perk. Uh, it's just a storm blade, unleveled, you know, no dual elements going on, but this perk is still super sick. Now, if I'm very careful, you can see if I go to modify the perks, the perk recombobulator is going to ask me to accept these changes. It's going to take this impact and knockback magnitude perk, and it's going to want to convert it into a snare sixth perk. <laughs> Oh, oh god! One of my 
more rare and odd regular loot pool weapons where I've rolled the plus 25% impact and 400 knockback magnitude perk is this legendary space invader. Now, this perk really isn't going to do much of anything to this weapon because you can see its base impact is 42, which is almost negligible. But I think it's pretty sick that we got that perk on this weapon. Here's a Night Claw, an unleveled shotgun that I have, impact and knockback magnitude perk. This is a pretty dope example of a very rare, very old event weapon. This is from the Hydraulic Event, the Piston Splitter, that has the impact and knockback magnitude perk. Now, when this Hydraulic Weapon initially launched, these weapons were all about having high impact. So the fact that this Piston Splitter uh, is inherently a high impact weapon, or it was at the time. Um, it rolled the additional 25% impact and knockback magnitude, uh, which I think is pretty dope. So I went ahead and leveled the schematic up all the way to 106. But you'll notice if you look at my backpack here, I crafted a few uh, in between. Yeah, if you see something that's not a 106 and not an 82, 91. I have one of those, 94, 95, 97, please, I think please, I made please, two of those. Please, 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 please. 98, please, 1, 2, please, 3, please, 4. Please, 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 some please. Some straight up 100s. Please, 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 please. Couple 103s. Some 104s. And then I'm going to be using these 106s in game. So let's talk about the difference between impact and knockback in this game. Impact, you have a threshold. Each one of these husks has a certain threshold that's going to dictate if they, if they stun and stagger. When the husk stops in his tracks, they shake, they shake their head or they look down and they basically, they kind of pause for a moment. That's a, that's a stun stagger. So when the husk actually displaces backwards, right, that is a knockback. So there's two different things. Impact is a threshold in which the husks are susceptible to staggering and then knock back. You can't knock back the husk unless that impact meter is fully drained. This weapon applies so much impact that just about every shot on a small husk drains that impact meter and it has the additional 400 knockback magnitude, which means once they are staggered, they are going to displace farther than what most husks would do. You can see here that, on average, it looks like these uh, normal husks are displacing about half a tile. See? So that was more of a stagger. That was a knockback for sure. Knockback. You see that? Knockback. Fly! Fly and be free, husks! Oh! Double combo! Okay. Unless if I get a headshot- Whoa! Did I just get three in a row? Okay. Unless if I get a headshot- Whoa! Did I just get three in a row? That's it. <laughs> I just sent him three times in a row. So I'll pull out. I'll pull out a current, current piston splitter. And you can see that they're staggering in place. Right? But they're not necessarily having any knockback. It's all staggered. See that? Stagger, stagger, stagger. Stagger, stagger. Stagger, stagger. Now watch the knockback. See the see how far see how much farther back they're flying? Knock back, knock back.
thanks for watching today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed our showcase of some of the impact and knockback magnitude legacy weapons that I can craft, as well as getting a little bit of a history lesson on the perk itself and how things have changed since the recombobulator. If you're enjoying this content, please subscribe to the channel. The channel has been up for about one month at this point, and I'm so happy that we've hit over 250 subscribers. I'd like to see that keep going. Last weekend I gave out 300 legacy weapons. The weekend before I gave out about 250. It's safe to say that I've given out about 700 legacy weapons to date. I'm going to keep it going if you guys keep coming back. But don't forget to spread the generosity. Keep the greed out of this game. Keep the selfishness out of this game. Let's start a change, here and now. I am Legacy Man. You name it, I craft it. And that is why I wear this mask. Have a good one, everyone. See ya.